Jayuki writes in, I had to take a break from my studies to homeschool the kids while we were all in quarantine. Thankfully, there were only mild symptoms and everyone recovered. Now comes the familiar feeling of guilt from stopping and dread regret, dread slash regret of starting back up again. Any tips on recovery and <clears throat> getting back on track um, now that the holiday season is ramping up? Okay. One of the hardest things of CPA exam prep is, is the starting and stopping, which is why <clears throat> starting, stopping, and then starting again which is why it's extremely dangerous to take a break after you pass an exam. So when I passed FAR the first time, I felt like I'd passed the CPA exam, okay? And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, <laughs> I didn't mean to take a year off. It just kind of happened. Like it's, it's never a good time to, to start studying again. And that's what I did. So consequently, I, um, after my 74, 74 in reg, I lost my FAR credit. So then I, the next time, after I went 74, 92 on reg, and then I passed FAR again the second time. So I can identify with it all. I can, I, I can identify with 74s because I scored two of them. I can identify with being one point from being a CPA because that was me. I can identify with losing a credit because I lost the worst one, which is FAR. And, um, and so... Starting again after a break is extremely difficult because, like, you just kind of lose that momentum. It's boring. There's, you know, you have to go back. You have to go back through the whole process of sacrificing your free time, sacrificing time with your family. The Saturday mornings, the kids are like. Mom, dad, let's go watch a movie. Let's go play. You're always studying. You're always working. It's the whole guilt thing. And my biggest piece of advice would be in your situation is, is to write down all of the reasons why you want to be a CPA. So they can be they can be like very specific because I'm going to get, I'm going to make X more dollars a year, which is X more dollars over the course of my career. It can be because my, my dad or my grandfather will be super proud of me. It can be because I really want that promotion. It can be because I'm going to prove that jerk uncle who told, who told me at Thanksgiving that I don't have what it takes. I can prove to that professor that you had for accounting two back when you were a sophomore or junior or, or whatever who didn't think accounting was right for you, <laughs> even though they've long since forgotten about you. Whatever enemies you need to create, do it. It's good. Write out every reason why you want to be a CPA because it can't just be because um, my dad wants me to. It can be I want to. I want my dad to be proud of me. That's good. But my dad wants me to. You're not going to get up and study. Write it all down. Map it all out. And I would tape it to your bathroom mirror. And if you have to, make another copy and um, like tape it to the tape it on the cabinet right above the coffee maker. So when it's five in the morning and you've set your alarm in the kitchen, so you gotta run out of your bedroom to the kitchen, turn the, turn the alarm off, and then the night before you've set it up so that you hit go on your coffee maker, you sit there and like hate life for a minute, rub your eyes, uh, check, your, <clears throat> check your phone to see if anyone posted anything interesting on Facebook since six hours ago when you last looked at it. Maybe I'm the only one. Um, like, there it is, right above the coffee maker, 5 a.m., why I want to be a CPA. And it's like, um, I want my kids to have better things and 
passing the CPA exam is a vehicle to do that. So write it down and then post it everywhere. I mean, make as many copies as you need to tape it in the shower. <laughs> like, and whenever you find yourself or wherever you find yourself most vulnerable, like, you know, if you have an Xbox, like <laughs> tape it to the Xbox, like, Hey, I'm going to go over, <clears throat> you know what? Maybe I should not sit and play apex legends. Um, I don't actually play apex legends, not because I'm above that because I know I, I would be addicted to it. <clears throat> um, but my kids play it. And, uh, so <laughs> anyway, whatever it is for you, but write it down and, um, because all of this suffering, I mean, let's be real. These are first world problems here. We're not suffering, but this isn't fun. So why are, why are we going through this? It's for a reason. What is that reason? Let's remind ourselves, write it down.